Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this video, uh, I'm going to deal with another video in my uh, in our, in our uh, set of videos dealing with probability theory. And I'm going to concentrate on contingency tables and the calculation of probabilities from contingency tables. Okay, so that's what we're going to concentrate on today: is contingency tables and probabilities calculated from those tables and as an example let's consider let's say 100 students okay let's say 100 students okay uh, were asked okay were asked let's say two questions okay two questions and uh, the first question is let's say uh, let's say what what mobile phone what mobile phone service provider do they have what mobile phone uh, service provider okay and the second question, let's say, uh, was so that's a question. What was your mobile phone service provider? And the second question is, uh, let's say, what type type of plan uh, uh, have you got? Which is your payment plan? What type of plan uh, do you have? Okay, and let's just assume that there's two types of plans. Uh, so let's just say that the possible uh, mobile phone service providers, let's just say, and we're in Ireland here, so let's just say that the possible ones, what I'm doing is I'm just constructing a table here, uh, and I'm gonna list down in the table the, the, the service providers. So let's say we had Vodafone, uh, Vodafone, okay? Uh, let's say we have three, okay? And let's say we have Air is another possible service provider in Ireland, okay? So, of the 100 students, uh, the answers to the question, what mobile phone service provider, okay, and we just assume that the students just have one mobile phone service provider, the answer would be one of these particular three. Okay? So it's a categorical variable, is this particular question. The answer is going to be a particular category uh, of service provider. And then also I want to know what type of plan they have. In other words, uh, are they bill pay customers? Are they bill pay? Okay? Or are they what are known as pay as you go? Okay, So are they pay? as you go customers so that's a that's a that's another possibility that we have okay so actually for every single person okay and we have a number of answers okay so every person is going to give us two answers it's going to tell us the type of phone that they have and going to tell us also uh, so let's say this is sorry the, the service provider service provider down here and then this is the billing type uh, bill bill type across across here we have two categorical variables and this type of table that I have here where we have two variables the first variable down the column here and the second variable across the across the, the, the this row here is known as a contingency table and let's just say for argument's sake that we have that let's say 10 10 of the respondents said that they had were with Vodafone and that they pay a bill uh, let's say that 20 says that they were with three and they're on pay as you go uh, let's say five said that they were with air and they're were bill pay uh, let's say another 10 were in here they were with Vodafone they were also pay as you go uh, let's say 15 were in here 15 are three customers and they are bill pay and let's say well I want a hundred students so how many have I got so far I have 20 30 40 50 60 so let's say for argument's sake that we have 40 students are with the air provider and they're on pay as you go which which gives us a total okay we have a total of 100 students were asked this question okay now, what we usually do is we actually we usually add up the rows and we add up the columns to give us marginal totals, okay? Marginal totals around the margins of this particular contingency table. So you can see that um, in total we had 10, 20 people responded with Vodafone, albeit 10 of them were bill pay and 10 were pay as you go. But we have 20 people in total that said that they were with Vodafone. You can see with three we have 15 and we have 20 gives us 35 people said that they were with three. And finally with air we have five and 40 gives us 45 people. Which from a marginal perspective you can actually see we have 20 we have 35 gives us 55 and 45 once again gives us a total of a total of 100 so there are the marginal totals the marginal totals tell us how many uh, of these simple events uh, how many of these particular simple uh, categories uh, have occurred okay we can actually do the columns now we have 10 uh, we have plus 15 gives us 25 plus 5 gives us 30 30 students said that they had bill pay cost they were a bill pay customer and then finally we have 10 30 and we have 
well what's this this is uh, 30 and 40 gives us 70 we have 70 students said that they were with pay as you go okay so this is the contingency table here that we're going to deal with now for the calculation of probabilities